Among the IDF's combat troops, few are as storied or decorated as the Druze soldiers. The Druze are ethnically Arab and religiously Muslim. Their religious convictions demand loyalty to their country of residence. For 138,000 Druze, that country is Israel. Those religious convictions have yielded the highest rate of military enlistment in all of Israel. 83% of Druze enlist in the IDF, and it's a point of pride to aim for a frontline combat unit like the Golani Brigade or paratroopers. And until it was shut down in 2015, also the 299th Sword Brigade, a frontline combat unit made entirely of Druze and Circassian soldiers. The Sword Brigade was founded in 1947 under a different name and was originally simply a border security unit. But in 1956, the unit was forced into active combat during the Sinai campaign, and military leaders decided to make it a primary combat unit to boost both prestige and morale. By the time the government dissolved the battalion, it was seeing decreased enlistment and declining standards, as Druze themselves started enlisting less as well as demanding direct enlistment in units like Golani and Magav. The IDF said abolishing the unit would improve integration with the rest of the military, though it was not without its own dissenters. Those dissenters said it allowed the Druze to maintain their cultural traditions while also maintaining loyalty to the state. But in 2015, only 5% of Jews said they wanted to serve in the Sword Battalion. Recent years have seen a drop of enrollment and a rise in draft dodging among the Druze communities, particularly among the youngest generation, though they still do maintain the highest enlistment rate in Israeli society. A very small number consider themselves Palestinian Arabs and have become conscientious objectors. Many younger Druze say the wider Israeli society still considers them Arabs first, and that may be unraveling decades worth of integration. And now, a recent assault of a Druze soldier, which originally raised questions of racism in the military before an investigation quashed them, has opened the debate about the place of the Druze in the military and the state. Ariel Levin-Waldman, I-24 News.